Greetings, folks. Welcome. This is a histogram showing the distribution of the Instagram following of celebrities. We'll characterize this histogram by its shape, center, and spread. Of course, the shape is pretty heavily skewed to the right. You see the skewness statistic here of 2.53. Because this histogram is skewed to the right, we use a five number summary to characterize the center and the spread. Of course, a five number summary is a minimum value. The first quartile, also known as the 25th percentile. The 50th percentile, also known as the median. The third quartile, which is the 75th percentile and the maximum value. The first class in this histogram which goes between zero and 20 million Instagram followers, actually covers the first quartile, the median, and the third quartile. This means that celebrities with lots of Instagram followers, say those that have 100 million, even 120 to 150 million followers, are somehow different than the rest. And it's possible that some of these observations that are different are in fact outliers. An outlier is an observation that falls sufficiently outside the pattern of the rest of the distribution. So a celebrity with, say, 140 million Instagram followers might be an outlier. An approach that we'll use to identify outliers is a calculation of the outer fence, and then in a second, we'll calculate what we call the inner fence. An outer fence that's used to identify outliers that are much larger than the rest of the distribution is the third quartile plus three times the inner quartile range. An outer fence used to identify observations that are smaller than the rest of the distribution it's calculated as the first quartile minus three times the interquartile range. So values that are outside the outer fence, either those that are larger than the third quartile plus three times the interquartile range, or those that are smaller than the first quartile minus three times the interquartile range, are what we call strong outliers. We use the inner fences to identify what we call mild outliers. The inner fence used to calculate observations that are larger than the rest of the distribution is the third quartile plus 1.5 times the interquartile range, while the interfence used to identify observations that are smaller than the rest of the distribution is the first quartile minus 1.5 times the interquartile range. Again, if a value is outside the interfence, but inside the outer fence, we call them mild outliers. The interquartile range is defined as the difference between the third and first quartiles. This means that the interquartile range covers the middle 50% of the distribution. Here's an example of how we could calculate the interquartile range. So suppose you have five observations for age. You've got somebody that's 17, 21, 22, 24, and then 72. The third quartile, if you include the median in the calculation, is 24. The first quartile, if you include the median in the calculation, is 21. This means the difference between the third quartile, which is 24, and the first quartile, which is 21, is three. So you have an interquartile range of three years of age. Here's information on the first and third quartiles from that distribution of Instagram followers that we looked at earlier. The first quartile, or the 25th percentile, is about 822,000 followers. This means that 25% of the celebrities in our data set have fewer than this number of followers, and 75% have more. The third quartile is a little less than 14 million followers. So again, this means that 75% of the celebrities in our data set have fewer than 13.8 million followers, whereas the top quarter or the top quartile have over that amount. This gives us an interquartile range of just over 13 million followers. To calculate the outer fences, you take the third quartile, which is 13.85 million followers, and you add to that three times the interquartile range, that gives us an outer fence of just under 53 million followers. So if celebrity has more than that number of followers, they would be a strong outlier. We can also calculate the other outer fence. So that's the first quartile, which is about 822,000 followers. And here you subtract from that three times the interquartile range, which gives us a value of minus 38 million followers. Of course, the smallest number of followers you could have is zero, so you won't have any strong outliers on the low end. To calculate the inner fence, we take the third quartile, which is at 13.85 million followers. Here you add to it 1.5 times the inner quartile range. That gives us an inner fence of about 33 million followers. And once again, for the on the low end, the inner fence is 822,500 minus 1.5 times the inner quartile range, 
This is minus 18.7 million followers. Again, since the lowest number of followers you could have is zero, we're not going to have any observations that are outliers on the low end. But on the higher end, if a celebrity has between 33.3 million but less than 52.9 million followers, we'd call them mild outliers. Now we can go back to our histogram. We can actually show the classes that include the strong and mild outliers. So if you think about that first class between 0 and 20 million Instagram followers, of course, none of them are outliers, but it includes over 70% of the distribution. If you look at the other end of the histogram, there are 19 strong outliers with more than 52.9 million followers. And then there are eight mild outliers with between 33.3 million and 52.9 million followers. So overall, we've identified about 27 outliers. And you might wonder who these outliers might be. Well, celebrities such as Taylor Swift, also known as T-Swizzle, The Biebs, Justin Bieber, they are certainly outliers in terms of their Instagram followers. <laughs>